So the next exercise that we're going to talk about is the Bulgarian split squat. The setup for this one is you'll have one foot just out in front of you on the ground and then you'll have your trail foot just positioned on your seat or whatever you're using behind you as your support. Um, with that one there, you may have to have a little bit of a play with your stance length and you may find that you have a preference for a certain length. The closer in that you are, the more that you'll find that it's probably quad orientated and the further apart that your stance is, you'll probably feel it more in your glutes um, to power the movement. Have a little bit of a play, there's no real right or wrong, it's just whatever that you're focusing on, on doing the movement. At the start, to get used to this movement, you'll probably want to do it with a support. Um, I've got this weird hairbrush here that I'm going to use as my support. So I would suggest putting it on the side that your trail leg is on. If you have it out here with your stance leg, you'll probably find that you'll want to lean over to it and actually be instilling probably a bad habit that you can't progress off having support. So put it on the side that your trail leg is on, find a good stance length. I'd probably suggest going a little bit longer than you think would be appropriate, but have a play with it and see what works. From there, we think about our body traveling straight down, and then we come back up. Henley, <laughs> <laughs> over time, uh, you'll find that you can probably look to do the movement without your support, just as a regular split squat. And you can also just add on some weight, whether it be a kettlebell, water bottles, or whatever you got at home to progress the movement from a strength perspective as well.